Good evening and welcome. Tonight we're going to be continuing my ASMR Around the World series. And tonight we are in Scotland to visit Aberdeen City. You can see its boundaries right here. It's Aberdeen City. There's the main city there of Aberdeen. Aberdeen is located in northern Scotland in what's known as the Highlands. You can see part of it there. The Scottish Highlands. And it's located here on the North Sea. Very important to its history. Aberdeen City right here is located between the rivers of the Don, which is up here, and the Dee, which is up here. Making these two borders and creating a big beach and port slash shipping slash fishing area here along the coastline. The landscape of Aberdeen City is fairly hilly for the most part. It also, being up in the north, gets pretty windy and rainy, but when it is sunny, all of the major buildings in the city sparkle, and that is because most of the buildings, especially the older buildings that we'll talk about in its history in a minute, were made of granite that was locally sourced here in Aberdeen. And it has a high mica content. Mica is the glittery stuff. I kind of wore these nails to reflect the mica, let's be real. And we'll talk about that in a second. It looks like this. The high mica content makes the granite sparkle. Aberdeen is also known as the oil capital of Europe. The North Sea oil industry primarily ships here into Aberdeen. Hence the, the oily looking nails that I put on. I thought this through. <laughs> it was a very specific choice here. So, since it's a fairly small chunk of land here in Scotland, there's not much geography to go over, but after the history portion, which is, which is coming up right now, I'm going to grab my tablet and I'm going to show you some cool places on Google Earth that I found in Aberdeen. So let's talk about its history. The first settlers of hunter-gatherers would have arrived in this area between the rivers around 6000 BCE. It was later settled by the Beaker culture one of those ancient cultures that we only know about them because of the pottery they've left behind and that's about it. But also the Celts and the Picts would have settled in the area as well, in what is now known as Old Aberdeen, which is kind of more around up here. The Romans would very famously come into Scotland around the first century CE, fight against the Picts, and win for the most part but would eventually retreat, beginning with the decline of the Roman Empire. So after that, that vacuum of the Romans was gone, Christianity started to come into the region. If you know your Christian history, it was in this Scotland, Ireland, Wales kind of area, where a lot of missionaries would spread out and preach Christianity. And they arrived here. The first church was built in 580. It's a very old church. So the city was just not a city at that point. It wasn't a city until about 1136, when it started to expand out to the River Dee in what's now considered New Aberdeen. If you consider 1136 new, right? <laughs> Compared to the old part of the city. And interestingly, in 1179, William the Lion wrote up a, uh, what's it called? A charter proclaiming that Aberdeen would be a trading city and its trading rights. It is the oldest surviving charter in the world. Can you believe that? So cool. The city would eventually grow to include residential areas and just kind of do its thing as a, a little fishing and it was pretty forested as well. Um, but in 1336, Edward III launched his war against Scotland and he burned most of Aberdeen to the ground. 
it was eventually rebuilt and they really fortified the city. They built big old walls around it and a big old gate, which they would remove in 1770 and fortified the port as well. Further down the line, in 1644, the Wars of the Three Kingdoms sparked up. Wars against, you know, Scotland, England. The Three Kingdoms, you know. We're not going to get into that tonight. But uh, the, the land was divided between the Separatists, I believe, and the Royalists. So I believe I got that wrong. <laughs> but anyway, for the king and against the king much. And both groups sacked Aberdeen at two different times. The first was in 1644. There was a big battle. The Battle of Aberdeen, it's called. The city was pretty plundered. And then it was again in 1646. So Aberdeen was getting repeatedly destroyed, right? So that was when they decided to use the local granite. There's a big old pit in Aberdeen. I'll show you on Google Earth where it used to be. But there was a lot of granite to be mined there and mine it they did and they rebuilt most of the city with that local granite and Aberdeen granite became pretty famous in the UK. It was used in many buildings including the, uh, the House of Parliament, I believe. But yeah, throughout the UK they would use Aberdeen granite. And eventually modernization would roll around in the 1800s. They rebuilt the whole dock area. It was a massive overhaul. They um, had train connections and would establish all the modern amenities of the 1800s. Mostly due to the economic boom after the Napoleonic Wars. That's what really helped out in Aberdeen. Things were rebuilt and going well until 1943 at the of World War II, the German Luftwaffe bombed the city in what's known as the Aberdeen Blitz, damaging a majority of the city and killing 129. But of course Aberdeen bounced back, rebuilt, and it's a beautiful, beautiful city today, mostly known for its uh, lovely gardens and seashore and things like that. I'll show you on the tablet, but a couple other things happened. In 1964, there was a big typhoid outbreak from um, contaminated meat. It didn't kill a lot of people. I think it killed maybe four people, but it infected hundreds, right? And kind of gave Aberdeen a bad reputation. So once the outbreak was contained and pretty much over, the queen actually came and visited to kind of boost morale and show people that Aberdeen was a safe place to visit. You won't get infected with typhoid in Aberdeen, especially today. And then in the 1970s was when the oil was discovered in the North Sea and Aberdeen's economy boomed at that point with all of the shipping of the oil and the entire oil industry to help that to keep going. Of course, uh, that's not very lucrative financially and environmentally in 2022. Um, you know, it's not a sustainable energy source. It, it is finite. So a lot of the Scottish wind farms can be seen off the coast of Aberdeen. The wind farm project is pretty extensive. I mean, it's a windy place, so it's perfect, right? So that's really the more focus on energy toward that rather than oil. The industry is on a slow decline, but not to the point where it's like ruining the economy of the city. And essentially that is where we are in Aberdeen's history today. I'm excited to show you the tablet, so I need to carefully zoom out of this shot. Let's see what happens. <laughs> Let's get the tablet out and I can show you some cool places around Google Earth. So here we are. There's Aberdeen. Let me grab pencil too. Let me zoom out a bit so I can show you more of where we are in the world. So here we can see the north of Scotland. Over here, there's Norway, there's Denmark, and the big old North Sea, right? Zoom out a little more, you can see more of the UK. And there's Ireland over here. So let's explore Aberdeen City. 
and I'm sure I'm going to start pronouncing things wrong. I did look up how to pronounce everything. I might have forgotten <laughs> once I get to them, so apologies. Any Scots out there, feel free to correct my pronunciation. Um, I found on my channel the Scots and the Irish are the hardest on me with pronunciation. <laughs> Blah. Feel free to correct me in anything down in the comments. And um, if you've realized I'm going in alphabetical order of places in the world, Scots will probably realize where I'm heading next, so feel free to help me with any pronunciations in that area coming up very soon. So first you can see the rivers here, right? You can see the River D right there, very prominent, the big old port here. And here we can see the River Don making up this top border here, and there's the mouth of the Don very prominent and you can see the big city right between the two rivers here and like I say before when I show Google Earth I used to work as a kids birthday party coordinator before the pandemic so Google is still desperately trying to show me kids activity places even though that is not my area of work any longer but it, it won't stop so there's a trampoline park. It looks really cool, actually, but we're not going to look at that. Let's look at some points of interest in Aberdeen. Here's the Aberdeen Art Gallery. I looked through some of the pictures. I wasn't too impressed with the art, to be honest. I'm kind of an art snob, but it's a very beautiful building, <laughs> right? Let me show you. I There's... Excuse you. There we go. There's cooler things to show you in Aberdeen than the modern art there. Here's the Aberdeen Maritime Museum. Now, this is a cool place with some neat exhibits. Let's take a look at some of the old maritime things. Look at this. Deep sea diving suit. Model of an oil rig there. Lots of cool models. Here's a samurai. Because you know how the samurai were very into, like, the aquatic lifestyle. <laughs> I don't know why the samurai armor is here, but okay, that's a really pretty statue. It looks like the, the, um, the hull of a ship, like they would have at the front of a really old ship. Like Jason and the Argonauts, that would be the part that was talking, right? The outside, you can see the big old shipping dock area there. A really pretty model of an old tiny ship there. Pretty statues. An overhead photograph of the docks in the harbor, a deep sea diving unit. Looks like you could see it underwater there. The big old, looks like a tour ship docked there. And oh, look at this diving suit. That is so cool. I think, oh, look at this. This is even cooler. Oh, he's not even wearing gloves. <laughs> Must be so cold down there. Here's another very beautiful, more modern, like 20th century ship. Some lovely old furniture and the old steering wheel there <laughs> for a very old ship and the the directional things that they use. Um, let's see what's next. Oh, we'll see that later. <laughs> um, this is Duffy Park, one of the many beautiful parks. This looks like the oh, isn't that so lovely? So we're going to look at more of this in detail. Actually, let me pull that up, even though this park is very gorgeous. I want to show you... Oh, there's a seaside amusement park. Let's take a look at it real quick. It's really cute. An old tiny boardwalk with bowling lanes and the go-karts, mini golf. These are like a staple in California along the coast, little boardwalks like this. Little like... <laughs> rafty things or you get to shoot each other with the water. These horrible pirate boat things. Ugh. Oh, I hate it. I hate it so much. These drop things that I also hate. Stuff like that. Just fun little oh look at this. Now this is cool. Climbing course. Little kitty rides and yeah. There's all kinds of different little boardwalk type things in California so it's cool to see them in Scotland. That's a pretty cool playground. And of course the seaside and funny pictures, right? <laughs> so let's see, let's take a look at this museum. This is for the Gordon Highlanders, the main regiment that came out of Aberdeen. They fought in many, many wars as you're gonna see in this museum. Let's see, look at all of this gorgeous like relics of the past. 
there is dedicated to the memory of those Gordon Highlanders who died in all conflicts. Old quarters there. There's a deer. <laughs> this stone is from one of the barrack blocks destroyed by German bombing in April 1943 at Gordon Barracks Bridge of Don Aberdeen, home of the regiment from 1935 to 1960. One of the old pieces of Aberdeen that managed to survive the bombing. So gorgeous, looks like silver, I'm not sure. Oh cool, look at all the swords. It's a really lovely, <laughs> that's cool, lovely little museum here. You can see all the different conflicts that they fought in all over the world here. Lovely shiny metals and some replicas. This looks like uh, World War II. Maybe the helmets, maybe World War One. I. I can't tell. <laughs> we one or the other. And here's like I don't know. You can't really see in this picture because it's zoomed in on the beautiful stained glass here. But um, memorials for all the different wars. You could see the Korean War one is over here. There's some guy. I don't know who that is. It's some strange portrait of some random guy. I don't. I don't. Know. <laughs> I'm kidding. That's King Charles. Our current King Charles. Another cool statues and replicas. This is definitely like Napoleonic or maybe like American Revolution, but yeah, back in those times. Let's see what's next. Okay, this is Saint, oh goodness, let's see if I remember how to pronounce it. Macar's Cathedral. Saint Macar's Cathedral, something like that. Beautiful, beautiful building, right? Look at that. Very, very old. And look at all of these tombstones in the graveyard. They're absolutely gorgeous, right? The beautiful ceiling up here, all the inlaid wood. Looks like a big old tomb of some kind. Very gorgeous building. Absolutely lovely. Let's see. And yeah. What else can we find? The Science Center. It's, yeah. This is the oldest building still standing in Aberdeen. It is Provost. Why is it called Provost? You're not helping me. Provost Games House. That's what it's called. The oldest still, st oh my, <laughs> the still standing building in Aberdeen. And now it's a museum, of course. Gorgeous. Look at that. The Tollbooth Museum is the former jail slash city hall can see some um, devices there to keep people contained. Look at that. Interesting. Oh boy. Old drum. Bon Accord, by the way, is the motto of Aberdeen City. It means like good agreement in French. It's the best translation I could get. And here you can see the, uh, the emblem of the city, the towers with some jack old model of the city there. The Aberdeen Toll Booth. Really, really interesting, but moving on. Let's see. Here's one of the beautiful parks in Aberdeen. Gorgeous rose gardens and walkways and more statues commemorating more Soldiers, the 167 men lost their lives at the Piper Alpha oil platform disaster in 88. Oh dear. I did not read about that. That is very sad, isn't it? But there's some cool statues in this park. <laughs> I like that guy. Um, oh, that's beautiful as well. Beautiful flowers, a cool archway there. That's neat. Oh my, he's <laughs> moving past that. Oh my, there's a, a llama pooping. Oh, that's really cool. They're out there performing in their traditional attire. Oh, <laughs> that's a sweet squirrel. Gorgeous, gorgeous, gorgeous roses. And a donkey. <laughs> um, this is a beautiful art here of the birds making a bench, but it doesn't look very comfortable to sit on. I don't know. Very lovely Hazelhead Park. And look, peacocks. Very cool. Um, this park is really neat, too. This is, I believe it's Seaton Park. 
more gorgeous gardens. You can row on the river. Oh, very important. There's a suite. <laughs> it's very cute right there. Nice big playground, beautiful fountains, beautiful old stonework. And, oh, that's a neat dream. Yeah, there's just, oh, there he is again. <laughs> Found a big old stick. There's just lots of very lovely parks throughout Aberdeen. This is the one I wanted to show you, the winter gardens. So in here, you can find plants from all over the world. Let me center that a little better for you. There we go. Looks like you can have some ceremonies in there and explore all the different little ferns and flowers and vines and things. It's so cool. There's palm trees, there's cacti. <laughs> Big old, it kind of looks like an agave plant, but I don't think it is. Water features and there's a better picture of the emblem of the city. The look like leopards, I'm not sure, but yeah. Birds of Paradise and Venus flytraps, just all kinds of flowers and plant life. There's a koi pond. Beautiful, beautiful things in this garden and lilies. Gorgeous, right? Uh, the golf course, because, you know, Scotland and golf go hand in hand. So, of course, there's a gorgeous um, golf course. You can see the wind farm out there. Big, big old wind windmills, right? <laughs> that must be like the clubhouse. Gorgeous sand dunes. Yeah. There's a pop. <laughs> and it's a Scotty dog, too. How appropriate. Oh, that's really pretty. Oh, so bright and green golf balls out there, the driving range, clubhouse, flowers, it's just the water birds. You can see the big um, shipping ships out there. It's just, oh, there's another sweet pup with the little Scotty dog. Just a very beautiful golf course, huh? I mean, I'm pretty sure all Scottish golf courses are gorgeous, right? Um, let me see. The Johnston Gardens. Was this one I wanted to show you? I think so, because this one is really scenic. Yeah, this one um, reminded me of, like, Monet and the water lilies, the, the blue bridge amongst the plants. There's little duckies there, and, oh, there's a ninja. <laughs> Look at him. And beautiful, beautiful scenery. Yeah, I wanted to show you the parks in particular so you could really get a glimpse of, oh, look at the babies, um, just how gorgeous the city is. Oh, look how beautiful. So, so pretty. And then this was to commemorate uh, a helicopter crash in 2009 that was coming from the big oil rigs. And there's a donkey, a mallard to be specific. The beautiful beach, but, um... I want to show you something else along the beach. I found this cool art installation up here near the nature preserve. There we go. The windows to the sea. Check that out. They are very big rocks, but you lean forward and you can look out to the ocean. And then there's this cute little bird as well. I thought it was neat. But, um, yeah, the... I was looking at this nature reserve up here. The Donmouth Local Nature Reserve. Very pretty. This beautiful little bridge here. I think we're going to look at that later in just a second. Let's go find it. Um, oh darn, I have to go back to Aberdeen. Points of interest. Let's go this. Oops. Points of interest. Okay, i got to go back this way. Aberdeen Beach. This is the bridge. The break up a gown. Very, very, very old bridge from, I want to say, the 1200s or 1100s or something like that. And it's very, very pretty. Very kind of like romantic as well. Oh, nice and snowy and pretty too. You can see it in all seasons. Lovely, lovely place. Let's see. Ooh, a Teletubby garden there. <laughs> um, another little hiking area, but that's pretty much it. Um, the old granite mine is right here, the old quarry, 
so as you can see it's now full of water and um, I know the city's been trying to figure out what to do with it to make it some kind of safe water exploring playing kind of area but it is an old quarry so there is that kind of element of danger to it but as you can see in this picture it's a very lovely green day you can see the golf courses but I got just my headphones there we go they're slipping off my head <laughs> the University of Aberdeen is a very very old building very lovely look at that I was, I heard that these were replicas of King Charlemagne's crown. That gives you an idea of how old this building is, right? But I think we're going to end it there for tonight. So thank you so much for watching. We're going to stay in Scotland for one more episode before we venture off far into the world. So stay tuned for that. Thank you so much for watching, I hope that you found this video relaxing and educational and I hope that you have a very good, 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 good night.